I think this is going to end up being a recurring theme for the rest of the year. And then let me give a shout out to the good mothers that are out there because I know we got some that are listening right now. So I'll look in the camera and I want to give these mothers a big, huge shout out for those who think about their children first and don't believe in just bringing a random man around your kids, a man that you haven't gotten the chance to know and take your time with that process. OK, so I do want to put a prayer hands up and give a shout out because I know we got a lot of good mothers that are out there listening. Right. A lot of good, responsible parents out there. I know we got some good fathers, too. We got know we got some good boyfriends out there, too. I like to think that I'm a pretty good boyfriend. OK, I like to think I'm a pretty good boyfriend. But in this case. The individual that you guys see on my screen looking like he, I don't know. I don't really know what he looks like. He, like he looks like one of them characters out of a movie or something. Like I, I don't one of them little hood movies. But this story comes out of Gainesville, Florida. But before I get in trouble making too many jokes, let me give you guys the fair usage real quick. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles and interviews this video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story the point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward viewer discretion is advised that is your official disclaimer all right so this story comes out of gainesville florida so the people who are going to be involved in this story is that woman and that man so I believe that the woman is the mother. The man on the left is the boyfriend, mom's boyfriend, right? A 19-year-old accused of lying about a child abuse incident was arrested after changing his story to police, according to a report from the Gainesville Police Department. Police say that Justin Shavers, the individual that you guys see on my screen, was dating the 18-month-old's mother, and watching the toddler while she was away. I know this sounds like an echo chamber at this point. But ladies and gentlemen who are watching this video right now. If you've ever watched any of my videos before. How many times have I expressed this particular scenario. About a mom needing to go out of town. Needing to go run some to go run some errands, go needed to go get some groceries, needed to go to work. The, this this woman needed to go do something. This alleged mother needed to go do something so bad that the biological father couldn't watch the child. Her family members, grandparents couldn't watch the child, aunties, cousins, nor babysitter, nor a qualified babysitter to watch the child. These individuals, and I know it's not all, but it's too many of them that believe that just because you're having sex with this man and you like this man and you like this man on top of you or behind you or whatever you want to call it. And you think that's good. And he makes you laugh and he crack all kind of little funny jokes. And you think he's thugging and he going to protect you from anything and everything just because you like it does not make him a qualified candidate to be a freaking babysitter to your children. I caught myself because I almost cussed. I almost cussed. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try to be a good boy today. Just because you like this man, don't make him a qualified babysitter. He is showing you nothing in his character, characteristics, nothing about him says good father at all. Okay? Now, that's what we got to stop. He was dating the mother and the mother had to go away. So he was watching the child. And I'm getting this information from news 4 jaxcom So thank you for the article. News for Jax learned Friday night that Jemiah Young, who's 19 years old, was also arrested. Thank goodness for that. Police say that she knew that, uh, that she, police say that she, what? I think there's a typo. Police say she young knew the child was injured while in the care of the boyfriend. I think that's a typo. She knew that the child was injured while in the care of the boyfriend. Here is where the story is going to start to get crazy. According to the arrest report, the toddler had a broken arm, bite marks, burns, cuts, bruises and lesions all over the body and face 
Do y'all think a bathtub is going to be involved in this story? Hashtag not another bathtub story. I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep digging. Let's see what happens. The arrest report stated that Shavers told investigators that two masked men with guns forced their way into their apartment and then threatened to hurt him and his family if he told anybody what happened. How many times have we heard this? This phantom thug who wanted to hurt your children so bad, give them a couple broken arms, and then don't steal no money, don't do nothing else, and they just leave. They broke into your particular house to hurt this child when the mother happened to leave this child in your possession. That seems to make a lot of sense, right? The arrest report states that Shavers said that the two gunmen forced him at gunpoint to burn and bite his girlfriend's son. Forced him to bite and burn his girlfriend's son. The question would have to be why? Why would they... <laughs> The vanishing stranger theory. Thank you. That's that's actually great. I want you to continue to, to hold on to that thought. I love that. The vanishing stranger theory. Because we've had that probably happen about a hundred times last year in 2022. And we had a ton of stories to talk about where this phantom thug came in and hurt these kids. However, the, the, according to the, uh, to the report, Shavers changed his story and admitted to abusing the child after they told him that a security camera was pointed in the direction of his door. Dr. Justin Dorenzio is a forensic uh, psychologist who often helps the Department of Children and Families in child abuse cases. He is not working on this case, but was briefed on the details. And he said... Whenever, whenever there is a child abuse case, I always, I always think it's a possibility, it's a probab it's probably, excuse me. Whenever there's a child abuse case, I always think it's probably a step parent of some sort because there is something in psychology called the Cinderella effect. We might have to start using that. The Cinderella effect where a child is most likely to be abused by a step parent. Hashtag the Cinderella effect. So there is actually a term for that. We call it hashtag mom's boyfriend. The Cinderella effect. Shavers notably isn't the child's step parent. He's only dating the child's mother. Let me look up the Cinderella effect. I want to look this up and see if there is more clarity to this. In evolutionary psychology, the Cinderella effect is the phenomenon of higher incident of different forms of child abuse and mistreatment by step parents than by biological parents. It, ta it takes its name from the fairy tale character Cinderella, which is about a girl who was mistreated by her stepsisters and stepmother. Wow. Isn't that something? So now we have a term to call it the Cinderella effect. Investigators said that Shavers told them that he got so aggravated by the child that he bit the toddler multiple times. Why would you bite a child? Was he hungry? Why would you bite a child? Were there no Snickers around? Like, why would you bite a child? Can't wait. Grab a Snickers. Isn't that how the commercial goes? No. No. If a child aggravates you, you bite them. Like, who does that? The, the arrest report did not specify what the toddler did to aggravate Shavers. And I, I don't think the child did anything. I think this, this child was just there and he decided to just abuse this child. I think that's what actually happened. I just think he wanted to be an asshole to the child because this child probably looks just like his dad. The child looks like the man who created him, the father. And that man is thinking, 
Well, this child looks like the man that my girlfriend, my current girlfriend, was just sleeping with not that long ago. So, of course, I don't like this baby. That's the mindset of a child, of a little bitty boy. That's not a grown man, and that's not a father. And this is why I also say that men under the age of 30 years old should not be fathers. Get mad at that if you want to. I know it's a very general statement and it doesn't mean all and it doesn't mean that men under the age of 30 have never been good fathers. What I'm saying is I think that more men might present themselves as stable and prepared to be fathers if you wait until the age of 30 and beyond. I just think it would help. Police say that he also told them that he pinned the child down to a bed and burned the toddler with a space heater, stabbed the toddler in the foot with a thumbtack, and used a hot pan that he had been cooking with to beat the child. And he did all of this while the mom was allegedly out running her errands. Police said that it was about five days before the child was taken to a hospital. Dorenzio said that child abuse is a result of three factors. The first is acceptance of abuse based on whatever your prior experiences have been. The second factor, according to Dorenzio, is parental issues tied to substance abuse problems, mental health problems, or lacking of parenting skills. And I talked about those parenting skills. The third factor is the child's issues because kids with disabilities are more likely to be abused like a difficult child or a colicky child, according to Dorenzio. Because the child had to wait five days before being seen by a doctor, police said it increased the risk of more injuries and infection. Now, Shavers was arrested and charged with four counts of aggravated child abuse and one more count of neglect with great bodily harm, and the case is still under investigation, which means he could also face additional charges. But the mom was also arrested as well. But they just doesn't say it in this particular article. Let me give you guys a fair usage. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. If you guys are watching my stream right now, do me a favor and please click that thumbs up and share this video and let more people know that we're live. And you can leave a comment right after this video was over. Or if you want to uh, join the uh, channel membership, there's a bunch of options down there if you guys want to join in. So here we go. This is News at 6 on WCJB TV 20, your local station. A man is behind bars in Gainesville after being accused of abusing a one-year-old just one day after a four-month-old baby was hospitalized. TV 20's Alexis Goings tells us what a child care professional says some of the triggers are that can lead to abuse. Gainesville police arrested 19-year-old Justin Shavers after he was accused of abusing his girlfriend's one-year-old toddler. Go up in stairs and back and forth, and sometimes he would have the baby with him and take up there, and his, his the baby mama would leave him and he would stay over the weekend like this. I didn't think he was that kind of a guy. Officials say Shavers was watching the child while the mother was away on December 28th through the 29th. He later admitted to biting the child four times, burning their chest with a space heater, stabbing them with a tack, and hitting them with a hot pan. He then took the child to the hospital with a broken arm days later. According to arrest reports, the incident happened right here where Shavers was a resident. And some of his neighbors I spoke to say they saw him days after the incident happened and he seemed completely normal. A man who lives two doors down from Shavers at Sunrise Inn resident apartment says he saw him at a New Year's party. Hanging out downstairs with them, like everything was okay, but I kind of like one right there, but then they found out the whole time he was down there, the baby was upstairs, so we were going back and forth. We ain't know nothing about this. Small World Daycare Operator says there are many factors that cause people to abuse children. A lot of it is financial insecurity, poverty, um, racial issues. There's so many things that lead to it. Um, the only thing I can say is just take a deep breath when your kid's pushing your buttons before you make that decision. You know, it's so easy. A lot of, a lot of the stuff that parents do is out of frustration to make themselves feel better. Shavers is charged with five counts of aggravated child child abuse and one count of child neglect. In Gainesville, Alexis Goings, TV 20 News.
We start with a TV 20 News update on the 18-month-old who is in the hospital after being abused. The mother of the child is now in jail, facing child neglect and failing to report child abuse charges. Gainesville police officers arrested 19-year-old Jemiah Young last night. Officers say the man behind bars on several counts of child abuse, 19-year-old Justin Shavers, told Young her baby was hurt and sent her pictures. They say Young told Shavers not to get the help for, child, for the child because she knew the police would be called and asked Shavers, how am I supposed to hide the evidence from them? TV 20's Alexis Goings has reaction from neighbors and a child care worker, and we want to warn you the details could be disturbing to some viewers. Gainesville police arrested 19-year-old Justin Shavers after he was accused of abusing his girlfriend's one-year-old toddler. Go up in stairs and back and forth, and sometimes he would have the baby with him and take up there, and his, his the baby mama would leave him and he stay over the weekend like this. I didn't think he was that kind of a guy. Officials say Shavers was watching the child while the mother was away on December 28th through the 29th. He later admitted to biting the child four times, burning their chest with a space heater, stabbing them with a tack, and hitting them with a hot pan. He then took the child to the hospital with a broken arm days later. According to arrest reports, the incident happened right here where Shavers was a resident. And some of his neighbors I spoke to say they saw him days after the incident happened and he seemed completely normal. A man who lives two doors down from Shavers at Sunrise Inn resident apartment says he saw him at a New Year's party. Hanging out downstairs with them, like everything was okay, but I kind of like went right there, but then they found out the whole time he was down there, the baby was upstairs, so we were going back and forth. We ain't know nothing about this. Small World Daycare Operator says there are many factors that cause people to abuse children. A lot of it is financial insecurity, poverty, um, racial issues. There's so many things that lead to it. Um, the only thing I can say is just take a deep breath when your kid's pushing your buttons before you make that decision. You know, it's so easy. A lot of, a lot of the stuff that parents do is out of frustration to make themselves feel better. Shavers is charged with five counts of aggravated child child abuse and one count of child neglect. In Gainesville, Alexis Goings, TV 20 News. So again, we're going to have to wait and see what the conclusion is going to be from this story. But like I said, the fact that you have this individual who's changed their story, I think that's always a very, very matter of fact, I wish, like I said, I wish they could charge them for changing their story. Like if they could tack on a couple extra years because of that, I think that would be awesome. But again, to sit there and do this to a child and we continue to keep having this narrative of mom's boyfriend and these violent situations, you would just think that we would be more cautious about who we bring our children around. But I do want to give a shout out to the good mothers who have realized that we need to be a hell of a lot more cautious about who we bring our children around and that we can do better. And there's always room to grow and get better. Okay. And that's my point. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this particular story. Thank you.